got Join the team. Ah, that's fun. It's in some Guire review, and what do we have here? But the brand new WizKids set for Spell Jammer Adventures in Space. This is a really, really cool set, and I really feel like they went all in on this particular set. There is a number of different um, boxed sets that you can get for Spell Jammer. Uh, this isn't even everything. I do believe there are some other sets as well um, that we don't have here. But this is a number of the sets within the Spelljammer release from WizKids. And I do really feel like they kind of went all in. It does feel like there's more individually boxed sets for this one than there has been in some of the releases uh, from the past. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that are on the table. We do have the box that's got um, all of the... This is kind of a marketing preview box, so it's going to have uh, a selection of the models from the blind box packs that you can get. There's 24 that are in this. We're going to go through this, as you can see. Confidential, all right? Secret stuff. Probably already seen this. Uh, possibly on other channels, but what can you get here, right? What you can get here is you're going to be able to see a wide selection in this video of these various different sets. Now, we are going to cover this stuff in a number of different ways. You're going to be able to see this stuff on Instagram. You're going to be able to see this stuff on Twitter. You're going to be able to see this stuff on YouTube Shorts. We will do some YouTube Shorts as well on some of these sets, and you're going to see this, some of this stuff in today's video. We probably will get into... Um, we will get into the um, special uh, confidential box here that shows the various different miniatures that are in uh, the, the blind box. So let's start hitting some of these sets that we've got here. So we'll start right off the top. We've got uh, Wild Space Ambush ship scale miniatures so these boxes are all marked with that ship scale miniature um, size so there's a lot of stuff that happens in spell jammer that's going to be space based ship based so all of the models in these boxes are kind of scaled for that which is nice because you can use though that scaling really for anything that's something that's nice about the spell jammer set that i think is a little bit different Maybe you don't, or you're not interested specifically in Dungeons & Dragons Spell Jammer. That doesn't mean that you wouldn't want to potentially get some of these models and some of these sets. As these sets can really be used for uh, really anything. I mean, any type of space-based RPG adventure uh, that has a little bit of a fantasy theme to it, you're going to be able to use these sets and these models, and they're going to work really, really well. So... I think that's the reason why they kind of went in so deep on this particular set, because it is going to be able to be used very broadly across the fantasy RPG space kind of, um, you know. And that's kind of cool how they mixed in, you know, some, some different things, like this one's got an ancient gold dragon. Uh, this one here has got um, an ancient red dragon, but also a tyrant ship, a swarm of murder comets, then like coming into a swarm of murder comets, uh, and then a cosmic horror. So there's just all this unique stuff. This one here, you have an ancient lunar dragon. You have an ancient solar dragon. A couple other different cool uh, ship type things here. This one, you're getting an an awesome. Um, well, you're basically getting a super large dragon in this one. You can see. Uh, which is really cool, okay? There is a mini... So I've got a mini Dreadnought in one of these. So here's an Astral Dreadnought that you're going to get in this one. I do believe they make a giant one of these as well, but here's kind of a mini uh, Astral Dreadnought. You're getting sort of the... Uh, uh, well, they do call it a giant gelatinous cube. You're getting a giant gelatinous cube, but this one has kind of a bluish-white type hue, so a little bit different there. R a lot of reuse for that one. This one, you're getting more asteroids. I love this living ship. Uh, there's a number of other different types of ships, and a lot of these ships are also 
kind of merged with different types of animals. So in like this one, there's a wasp, there's a hammerhead ship. So it looks like a hammerhead shark, but it's a ship. So it's just out of all these different sets. Did we hit this one yet? Uh, yeah, this one's got the, the various different types of dragons. And then the Star Moth, which is a really cool uh, ship that's in this one. So as you can see, each one of these sets is going to have uh, some really unique stuff. So stay tuned as we start to kind of go through these boxes uh, in various forms. Again, check out Instagram, check out the YouTube shorts. We're going to have videos that will be full length on the channel as well that we'll go through. Um, but for this one here, we are going to get into the Confidential Blind Box pack. Uh, and then we'll save these for other individual videos that will follow. But I wanted to make one here that kind of looked at everything all in. So you can start to investigate which one of these box sets might be right for you. Okay, so let's get into the marketing sample here. We will... Slice that open with a fresh slice from the tiny bone shiv of death. And we'll open up this box. Um, again, I'm kind of low here because I don't have some... I don't have the counter height seating yet, so... Let's look at these miniatures, guys! Okay, so you'll see there in this pack, um, and it's going to reflect off the light a little bit, but it's just full of individual miniatures that are a selection from the blind box set. So what we'll do, uh, what I like to do here, and it does look like there are some wings, so it looks like we're going to get kind of a, a dragon here that we're going to have to build. We'll get this out of the way. We will get this out of the pack, and then we'll talk about these miniatures kind of holistically on what they look like, how's the quality, uh, and then you'll be able to see them up close, and you'll be able to see them up close here pretty soon, so don't worry about that. We'll get this open. Okay, there's something that's holding it. All right. Okay, first time I think I've ever done that, where uh, they've uh, kind of tied that down. Okay, that threw me off a little bit. Okay, loving what I'm seeing so far. We're going to get these out in front, and then we're going to talk holistically about... Oh my god, I love it. It's like a giant boo! Okay, we've got him out of the pack, and I will have to say, just holistically across the set, there is some really, really cool models. We'll see some of these larger ones here. Really well done. The paint job on this one here, this is the Borog at 45 of 47. I love this sort of forearm look. We got the spear up top, throwing the giant rock here. The paint job is amazing on this. The, the yellows and the greens and the browns that are used. The face is done so tight. The teeth, the tongue, the eyes. Everything looks really good. The sculpting is done really well. This one it looks really, really good. And that's the thing about a lot of these newer miniatures that they're doing. The paint jobs are getting so good that, you know... I, for a while there, it's like, okay, if you're a painter, you, you might buy a model and you might paint it or you might repaint it. These are starting to get to the point where you put, you're going to put this down on the table and it just looks amazing, especially this solar dragon here. This one is awesome. I think this one's going to be a very, very popular model um, being sold individually on sites, and it's probably going to sell out pretty quickly. The paint job's awesome. It's got this purple sort of reflection, almost uh, the... Uh, uh, those paints that are like uh, not color, they're kind of color changing paints where depending on the light that you're looking at it, you're getting purples, you're getting silvers, you're getting pinks. It's very shiny. So that looks really cool. Thematically, it's perfect there with that type of dragon. And then the sort of the, the nebula fairy type wings are really cool in the way that they've sculpted and modeled this one. Really well done. I like how it's kind of coming down with those wings too. This one is amazing. This is a really cool model as well. I don't think I have anything that looks even remotely like this. This is a really cool one. This is the Braxek. Braxat? Yeah. The Braxat, I think. That's how it's pronounced. 29 of 47. That's a really cool model. Really chunky. It's got some good weight to it. 
You do get a Beholder in this set as well. Um, that this one's just named Beholder. It doesn't have any other type of branding on it, and it is 47 of 47. So obviously that's going to be the one that's probably going to be the hardest to get in your blind box packs. But I really like the design of this Beholder. It does look very different than any of the other ones they've done. You've got these spikes kind of in this back part here, and then all of its uh, kind of all of its eye. Um, little tendrils there are done almost in a Medusa type form and sculpting verse. You know, they usually just kind of come out and go like this, or they just go straight, or this has a very snake-like, almost Medusa kind of look, which is, which is a really cool look there. This guy here is pretty cute and funny. You know, it's the little um, fluff or um, flapjack is what they call this one, 37 of 47, but it's got the little pirate hat on. Uh, so, you know, kind of a cute, funny little type of, uh, type of take there on this particular model. They've done it. They've done a number of these in the last few sets. So that one's, that one's pretty fun. And if you're, if you're collecting over the course of the sets, it'd be fun to have, you know, each one of this type that they've done. So that's pretty funny. Uh, big fan of the giant uh, gerbil here on the leash. This is pretty cool. This is the giant space, well, it's not a gerbil. It's this giant space hamster, uh, 46 of 47. So again, another one that's going to be fairly rare in the set to be able to get your hands on. That one's amazing. That might be my favorite model in the set. It's hard to say because there, there's a lot of really cool ones. But out of we have right here, even with this amazing solar dragon, this is just the best. I mean, so many ways to use that, and it's so cool. There are a number of smaller uh, models and different things as well. They all are very unique in the way that they look. And you can see those up on the close miniature cam. The bear's hitting us with that work. Um, so you can just see how cool each one of these are. And you can see, and I do believe over the years, their quality and their paint jobs have gotten better and better and better uh, with each one of these sets that have released. So this is a quick look at some of the individual models that you can get in the blind box packs. There are a few, um, th these are more like special uh, promo packs that they do right up here. Uh, we're gonna cover those in a YouTube short. So if you're interested to see those up close, we're gonna be doing a YouTube short where we're gonna have each one of those uh, out of the pack and I'll get up close on them and you'll be able to see them. They are very unique, really cool models. So look forward to that. And uh, with that, we'll go ahead and stop this video here. There will be some more that will be on these individual boxes, as we stated earlier. Uh, we're going to cover some of this stuff on Instagram only as well. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure to follow on Instagram, and you'll be able to check out these sets. But with that, team, keep rolling them crits. This has been the McGuire Review, and we'll see you next time.